After the waste is pre-treated at site one, it flows down to site two for final treatment and polishing. Okay, we're at the uh, head end of the site two treatment plant. This takes the treated effluent from site one, treats it further, and also treats areas that aren't treated by site one. The uh, discharge standards for this treatment plant are very stringent. We call them tertiary limits. Uh, the, the discharge is to a small stream that's heavily fished for steelhead and trout. It's evolved uh, over the course of the last 120 years from something fairly primitive to sewers to get the sewage out of the ditches, to settling tanks, to secondary treatment, to tertiary treatment. These are the uh, treatment tanks at site two. We have three different trains. It's a contact stabilization process where we have aeration and re-aeration. Uh, over here to the right is uh, one of the uh, aeration tanks. Over to the left is the clarifier tank. Similar process to site one in the sense that we aerate the solids, grow bacteria, break down the waste, and then we settle it out in these clarifier tanks. And then the clear water after clarification is disinfected, usually through chlorination, or if uh, chlorination uh, is a concern, then ultraviolet disinfection is used to disinfect the water. This is the final stage of the treatment process. We chlorinate the wastewater after it's been treated to kill the bacteria. We call this stage the post-aeration phase where we add dissolved oxygen to the wastewater and then it discharges to the stream. And you can see that it's a lot cleaner than it was at site one. And then it discharges to the creek, which is just upstream from Lake Erie. This is our outfall to the receiving stream. This stream is heavily fished for steelhead and trout just upstream from Lake Erie, and we are proud of what we're able to do in protecting the water quality of Lake Erie. I'm Gus Maas, branch manager to the Northeast PA office of GPI. I'm a professional engineer, and that's my talent.